right, guys, we got this motor covered up because, ha, ah, Florida. That's how it looks. A nice day outside, and it's dark. Um, so we get these these uh these screws uh, cut down so they're out the way. Um, don't mind that rust stuff came from off the um the screws with the guy with the angle grinder, and the rest always got rusted because it rained, as you see, there's water in the boat. So with the seat, I fixed it. We're just putting cutting a piece of plywood for it. Um, I, I'm going to paint it and fabricate some type of cushion for this. Something like something white that goes with the, the, the color of the boat. So I'll go to the fabric store at some point in time and figure out what color I'm going to go with. Um, that would be the same thing for that seat. It needs a cushion because who wants to sit on hard fiberglass the whole time, you know? So that I did that today. Um, I didn't do much because, again, it's been raining. Um, yeah, so instead of just putting more fiberglass on top of it and make it a, a rough, ugly, um, professional looking surface we'll do this so this way like my only reason for having this even here is because there's holes in it and doesn't look you know doesn't look nice um the seat itself is, is still solid um the woods here like i said just for i can make a cushion i get a cushion cut to this parameter and then get fabric and wrap this whole thing in fabric and then that'll sit back down where it is and you never even know this is broken because when you're sitting on it the weight is distribute, distributed throughout the whole piece here instead of just set down in one spot so that's going to do the same thing same thing for this as the same thing i'm going to do for that um i went around the boat and filled any small cracks now i could have refiberglass that boat but for one i don't know how to refiberglass boats i mean that's something i could learn i just not willing to do it so anything i seen like a little scratch like this i just went ahead and put marine sealant over it um a piece off of here so that's pretty much any small cracks i mean there's nothing major i'm just putting stuff back just because so anything little small cracks here and there i'm filling with marine sealant so we have no leaks um foam platform still looks good it's clean up top um as i heard you before oh i have the seats guys so i have a flooring made for um the bottom here it's plywood i got the one inch foam for for buoyancy in case we take on water so i got the one inch foam it's about about yay big um you've probably seen it in the other clip i didn't explain it but it's in the other clip and the plywood cut towards this and the same thing for this so what the flooring is wood is going to rot regardless all right so i'm gonna get the flooring um i'm probably either use weather i'm probably going to use waterproofing or an oil-based paint to coat the flooring um also that as well so they don't rot as quickly it probably lasts two three years and then change it out which is i mean not a big deal they they come out the boat um, and then on top of that, it's going to be sea deck. So gray sea deck here. It's going to be gray sea deck up here. I'm going to get a sea deck fish ruler that extends right around here. I try to put a picture on here, but the sea deck ruler is going to go right about here. We're going to have the gray mats. Um, I ordered today. Should be here the weekend, but I won't be installing them on the floor until I get the wood painted. Um, I'll probably then install up here when it's not raining because you can't install sea deck when it's pouring raining outside. Um, yeah, so sea deck here, the sea deck ruler up here, um, so we can measure the fish and stuff. The snapper gotta be 10 inches and stuff like that. Um, the flooring, like I said, gotta be painted. And then we can put the sea deck over it. Um, I still have a lot of touch up paint. You see, some of it's not all completely white, and a lot of places where I should have painted last, but it all the paint got messed up from all of the um, little sparks that come off the, the metal and stuff. That's all messed up. So I gotta repaint that, but for the most part. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. This project is getting there. It's getting there. Um, I'll probably have the video up. Um, this weekend, I work overnight, 12-hour shift, so I won't be doing anything to the boat until probably next Wednesday. So, it's going to be a short video, episode Tris, and we will catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace. What's going on, guys? It's Saturday morning, and we're out here at the boat ramp. Um, today, we're going to basically test to make sure... Um, all of the seals I put for the polling platform are water water tight. So I'm going to drop this in the water and make sure none of these leak. If they do, of course, we pull the boat back out, head back home, and see where the leaks coming from and address those. So basically today I won't be really riding as much. I mean, I got the motor out. I might. This is a little kind of element by myself today. But um, yeah, that's today's goal is to make sure these these things I have don't leak. All right. So with that being said. Let's get the motor and plug back in. Don't forget to plug and we'll see you in the next clip. Alright, so guys, the boat is uh 
in the water so far I'm not seeing um, any leaks I'm gonna hop in and let you guys know from there but currently right now I'm not seeing any leaks so we should be good but that's how the boat looks in the water guys all right let's hop on board oh I brought a paddle just in case my outboard gives me problems hop in without but tipping all right nothing up here is leaking so far um the water you see in the back of the boat now is from um it's from the rain overnight but yeah we're in the boat guys i left the trailer and i should back the trailer up a bit more so i can ride up it right up and um when i'm finished but this is the boat guys we're on the lake it's um pretty stable let me hop on the casting deck real quick. Well, actually, I'm gonna miss my shore. Uh, screw it. Hop up here. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. We're up on the casting deck up front. There we go. No way, it's it a lot of room. They're pretty good, guys. We're up here I'm trying to rock it. It's not, not really going nowhere. It's kind of just slippery, though. It's paint. I ain't got the floor, I ain't got the sea deck yet. But um, let's try to get this motor started up. And uh, we'll just take it down the canal a couple times and see how it goes up. Alright guys, we got the outboard started. Uh, first two, two strokes smoke. Alright guys, outboard is started. Let me grab this cord from the shore. Alright guys, bear with me with the camera recording. I am by myself. Um, I need to invest in like a tripod. I have something like a mount up front that I can, you guys can watch everything I'm doing. We'll let this warm up for a bit. Like I said, we got a paddle just in case. And we got a life jacket underneath the hatch. And we're going to just leave the truck here because we're not going to be going that long. I'm really surprised. This thing's holding up pretty good. It's really stable compared to my other um, V-Haul John boat. This has more like a flat bottom. So that I'm actually liking. Whew. What I'm curious is how the hell am I brave enough to stand up on this bowling platform? I'll try that on a day where I have somebody here with me. But yeah, we'll let this we'll let this engine run, warm up and then um we'll get a little test run with the new boat. Uh, the same old Johnson, just a new boat. Alright guys, we're cruising slowly. Everything is running perfectly fine. The weeds coming up. Still got no weeds. back of the truck we're gonna go ahead and get this situated um yeah nothing leaks so we're pretty good uh, let's turn out some let's put back in Back on land, um, the boat worked out pretty good. No issues. It's back on the trailer, as you see. Um, yeah, nothing leaked. So I decided what type of motor I'm gonna get. Since I'm gonna get a trolling motor, it's gonna be like my intercoastal, you know, flat flipping boat. Cause obviously it's gonna be a flat boat as a pulling platform. I'm gonna go with a 15. I was gonna go for a 20, but I think it's 20 is just too much for the type of fishing I'm doing. I'm fishing flats and intercoastal waves. I don't need to be going that fast or fast at all. 
so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with a 15 um, outboard and then for another power I'm gonna get a trolling motor as well and I'll probably mount it somewhere up here sideways don't mind the dirt I was standing up there earlier um, get that mounted sideways so today we ordered I ordered the the C deck for up here and there and the floor and I also got in contact with the guy who's wrapped in the boat guys so dude told me uh, the following week from now which is about two weeks um, he'll be available to get the boat wrapped so enjoy how this looks now because in the next clip well actually not the next clip but pretty soon this will be wrapped in the nice camo blue all right don't forget this is my 16 foot skiff uh, i believe it's episode three guys um it's working out pretty good so it's gonna be wrapped soon um it floats that was the main goal that made sure nothing leaks so once i get the wrap on i'm not worrying about stuff um gotta take a wrap off and fill this hole and fill that hole refiberglass this uh seal that so everything's good with that um but yeah that's it for the video oh let me show you guys we're just out here at the lake this wasn't like i was at i'm just happened to pull under this tree to do a shit little video but oh, the bass just jumped um yeah that's it guys so thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe peace